Hello friends, back once again with some City Skylines. Today uh, we're going to be looking at some problems and hopefully getting them fixed. Uh, and both those problems are related to traffic. Now, back in the day where we first started out here, uh, we introduced this marvellous feat of engineering called the hexagon. Uh, the fact that it's got eight sides rather than six, notwithstanding the hexagon was what it was called. It was a way of merging effectively two highway routes into one. Um, it sort of works. Sorry, I'm just having a look at this roundabout while I'm here. Uh, it sort of works, but not really. Um, the fact that this is a kind of a double hexagon interchange here is uh, is not helping matters. But you can see we've basically got, you know, on-flow traffic problems coming from every possible direction. So I, I want to try and get that sorted. I've, I've decided that it's high time that I stop mucking about uh, expanding uh, given that uh, you know our population is relatively stable, and uh, and see about actually trying to uh, resolve some of the longer term traffic problems that we've got, in order to fuel further expansion, um, and actually moreover to to make sure that internal services to the city are actually getting where they need to go. And I figure that's that's possibly a root cause of some of my problems is that uh, traffic just can't get to where it needs to be. So, uh, I've gone into the, uh, the tool manager and created something to fix just this problem. So why not step with me now, and I'll take you through it. Yes indeed, a brand new interchange. Uh, this one we are calling Failure's Eye, or just the eye. Uh, and what it does, is exactly the same as before, it allows uh, two highways, so you can see we've got these two parallel highway sections obviously going back against each other um, uh, in a horizontal fashion and then uh, two more going in a vertical fashion. Now the big change that I've made to this one, or the most significant change, is by using tunnels, let's uh, zoom in here a touch, by using tunnels what we're enabled to do uh, is, uh, is actually not have to force one of the, the highways up onto the, the raised roundabout section. My thinking being that actually this will prevent quite a lot of queues. The second thing that I've done is I've enabled this to flow in multiple different routes, multiple different directions. The options for traffic are numerous, uh, plentiful. Uh, so much so that I would be surprised if anybody ever used this top deck here. Um, I would be most surprised, but it's there as an option and, you know, from here it kind of looks cool. Uh, the observant amongst you will know already that uh, that obviously I play with uh, with left hand drive, uh, well right hand drive, driving on the left. Uh, I play with the British traffic version of the game, and uh, and having built one of these before, one of the things I learned was you always have to build uh, as though the traffic is driving on the wrong side. Um, so I've done just that. Uh, let's have a look at some of some of the features that we have going on here. As you can see, we've got uh, uh, actually exits from the tunnel uh, that come out at both ends as well. Yeah, so let's have a look at that in more detail. So I'll bring up some road and take us down so we can actually see underneath if we can. It's kind of hard to see the detail. Oh, there we go. Okay, so look at the black lines, right? So the black lines here are the two tunnels that we've got going. And coming down this way, you can exit off and head out on this piece of uh, highway here. Uh, coming in the opposite direction, you can head off and head down this piece of highway here. All being well, this should allow traffic to get to where it needs to go pretty quickly. Now, it is a significantly bigger footprint than the hexagon. Um, but the the upshot should be that it it handles traffic that much better. Now the other major feature I've got of this is these two little parallel roads here, uh, which are optional. They're optional, but I think they might serve a purpose. If you imagine putting here, for example, uh, a, a, a tip, a, a garbage dump, and an incinerator next to it, and that's the only thing you put on there, uh, then you've got easy access to both these two highways, yes, 
Yeah, so, well, obviously you see it um, from the get-go. So, so assuming that the traffic is flowing around here smoothly, it should allow your utility vehicles to get to where they need to go. Same thing uh, applies for uh, you know hearses and uh, and graveyards or ambulances or fire stations or the police or any service vehicle you you care to mention should be able to get to its destination with relative ease by employing the eye. It's not going to work, but it looks good, though, doesn't it? Right, so I'm going to go. Uh, I'm going to go plumb this in. Step this way. Right then, I've chosen this section uh, to to actually replace to start with. I mean, firstly, we've got uh, we've actually got three separate highways going on here, so I might need to rethink a little. But uh, but fundamentally, I want to replace this double section here, and this double section here, and this kind of through route. So I'm going to be aiming to place around here somewhere. Uh, this is going to cause mayhem in the short term, uh, but, you know, these these things have to be done. So, let's kill everything. Yeah. Delete fest. Now, uh, I've, I've done a quick measure up, and uh, unsurprisingly, this beast uses up a whole lot of space. Um... And as such, I'm probably going to have to rethink uh, the whole of this area to some extent. But we'll worry about that once I've got it at least plumbed in in a, in a, you know, a, a rudimentary fashion. Now, I, uh, we've spoken at length in previous episodes on the, uh, on the joys and the woes of, uh, of traffic in this game. And... To be honest, it's my favourite thing about it. I absolutely love that the traffic is difficult. Right, let's uh, turn the bulldozer off. Let's just get things moving again so the traffic disappears. That's it. All of you leave. Good. Right. So we've got this nice big area here. I've got this power plant, which I think I might have to move. Or at the very least, I think we're probably going to end up doing some deleting. But let's have a let's have a look here. So here is here is the beast. Uh, yeah, I know. I wasn't kidding. It, it's uh, it's enormous. It would it would it would actually it, you know just it would be nice if I could rotate the bugger. There we go. Come on, come on. There we go. So that's more or less where we want it. It's actually less where we want it. There we go. That's more where we. Want it. Holy cow! This really does use up a lot of space. All right, let's try uh, moving it one more round. I am prepared to sacrifice large swathes of city in order for this to work. City so says, "Yeah, you're doing what now?" Okay, I think that's where we're going. There shouldn't be anything critical in that area. Oh, what's that under there? That's the metro under there. That's fine, I'm not interfering with that. Okay, bulldozer time. Sorry, son. You gotta go. I can't empty it. Oh, you swine. Uh, let get 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 rid of that, thank you. Go uh, D zone. Let's not muck about, let's just start dezoning. Give me the give me the square D zoner. Let's take all of this out. Just to make enough space. Obviously, we are going to put quite a lot of this back in again, but we need the space now so that we can get it in. And then afterwards we'll uh, we'll sort out the sort out getting people back in business here. There we go. And actually, bizarrely, despite the fact that I'm just making a whole bunch of uh, of industrial homeless uh it's uh the demand meter for for medium has gone up go on clear off come on i got building to do and i want to pause again no got no time to wait for you uh, i shall use the uh, the click of doom all right let's get rid of that and this as well Okay, right. I think that's that's probably about as far as uh, as I, I need to go. I've probably gone even further than I need to. Uh, right, back on on the pause menu. If this works, of course, I am a genius. Just you know, just what do you mean the slope's too steep? It's steep. It can't possibly be. 
it cannot... Oh, don't tell me this can only work on absolutely flat. It, this land is pretty flat. This should have been something that I'd checked before. More deleting. Yeah, you see, no, look, I, I'm committed now, so uh, this is a thing that's happening. Uh, whether the whether the rest of you people decide to comply or not, it's uh, it's occurring, it's going on. Well, where isn't too steep? Look at how beautiful this thing is. Look at it. Look, it's a, it's almost a centerpiece for my entire kingdom. God damn you, game. Furthermore, which st slope? It's it's not giving me any pointers, is it? Oh, oh, what a disappointment. Okay, well, let's see if there's somewhere on the map that it's not too steep for me to put this down. There we go. Look, right there. I can put it all the way over here. Right next to the lost city of Atlantis where it's going to do absolutely no good whatsoever. Uh, anywhere else. Oh, I want to use it now. Great googly moogly. You can go over here. Yes. Terrific. Alright. Okay. Well, that's thrown a spanner in the works. If I was any kind of a professional, I would have done this beforehand and uh, and gone, oh, look, it's not going to fit in there. There you go. It can go right on the coastline where you don't want it. Brilliant. Okay. Right then. Well, that's screwed that up, hasn't it? Um, okay, so this is going over here. These two and those two are going down here. What should we do about that then? All right, okay, right. We're going to try and try and build something on the fly. Which way are you chaps going? You are going that way. All right, okay. Well, let's. Uh... Right, and then we've got an overground there. It would be nice to have a massive interchange here. Which is why you weren't off. I, I'm, go on. One more try. One more. See, that's the other thing. is You can't tell if just deleting a bit. We're going to... I, I bet that bloody graveyard is going to be in an area which, if I removed it, I would be able to place it there. Oh, our space is already occupied. too steep the slope is. Yeah, I mean, obviously I can't place it over here, but if I can find somewhere where the slope is not too steep, that is nearby, then, uh, then maybe we can think overhauling. No, I think we give it up. I think, uh, I think we say, well, that's just tough, isn't it? Well, there's some terrain tools here. Can I just level the terrain out a little bit? Like what SimCity allows you to do. Anywhere. I'm not... I'm not feeling it. I'm just not... I don't want the city information. Unless that information is how to level some ground. All those friendly. Hang on. Come on. It's not that uneven. I mean, it's better... Uh, well, okay, all right. Maybe you've got a bit of a, a bit of an incline, but it's not massive. What a load of crap! Right. Um, okay, so we're going to have to think of something else. Right. We know that, that here needs to be connected to here and there and here and that and this and the other and all of this stuff that I just disconnected. What well, it's going to be the best way of doing. Well, these are already elevated. Thank you very much, Captain Science. So let's let's bash all the way over there, and then uh, and then we'll bash all the way back again. There you go. Step one complete. These chaps now happy as Larry. 
that's not going to help anything, of course. But uh, but there you go. That's a, that's a first thought. Right, we got this coming out. Some kind of now. I I, I think we can stick. I think we can go with the fundamentals that I was working on, or the fundamental that I was working on, uh, which was of uh, of an underground uh, an underground system in order to get things from point A to point B. So let's uh, let's switch to the wiggly tool here just to get it aligned. Oh, and also, also, sports fans, I have uh, I've finally worked out the button for reversing the course of a of a, a bit of road. You probably already know it, knew it already, but if you right click on your highways, you can or any other one way street, you can change its its direction. So you change the you you hit the raw the the upgrade. Why I'm even explaining it to you, you knew this already, and you're going to go, yes. Well, look, it's news to me, and therefore it's uh, it's well worth my time mentioning it out loud. What's going on there? Why are you at different heights? Why are you at different lengths? I thought I'd done that exactly the same. Give me. Right there. And you... Right there. Okay, well, they're still different lengths-ish. Uh, better go switch it around the other way. Okay, right, so, now, if we then... Uh, the only thing I need to think of here is how I'm going to get people off this underground section. So, But, if you make it long enough, you can... Uh, you can run slip roads off in the same way as you would do normally. The other plus of it, uh, this, of course, is that uh, no, 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 up to there is that uh, I haven't used any ground space there in the slightest. Now, what I don't know yet is whether this also has a, a positive effect in terms of uh, in terms of, of noise pollution. I would have thought it would, but it, equally, it wouldn't surprise me if it didn't. Right, okay, there we go. So, that's this section connected up to the roundabout over here using some tunnels. And frankly, you know, I've been looking for an excuse to use tunnels for a while. Uh, no, they're not exactly symmetrical. Uh, but then again, I'm not exactly bothered. Uh, right, okay, and then we will go straight for... Give me some, uh, some dinky road here. And uh, let's roundabout this sucker. Helps if you start from the middle of the roundabout. There you go. Do we want to super roundabout it? Is that, is that a good thing? Well, let's try it. No, no. It was never going to work if you choose, chose the wrong tool now, was it? There you go. Out to. And down to. Yes. Oh, this is a beast. And then down to. And round to. And round to. Uh, up to. You can tell I have recently spent time mucking about with circles because that was pretty effortless. Now, I didn't actually want it on the ground. Well, you better delete it and do it again then, huh? This was supposed to be easy, which is among the catchphrase ziz that, uh, that I employ. Uh, right, okay. Uh, road tool, up one. Thank you. Right, and let's go from here. I know how I'm unconventional. We're going to start from somewhere else. Also, mental note, need to put a power plant back in. Maybe I did want it on the ground since that's an elevated highway. Right. This is going to work. Trust me. I, I, I have I have utter faith that this is going to work. Yep. Brilliant. Okay. Good. Now, if the, the if I was doing this properly, which I'm not, obviously it's me. Uh, I would have this centered over this underground section here. 
And in saying that, I'm not going to get it perfectly centered. Yeah, I know. I'm deleting it again. I, I, I figure you don't watch this stuff to see me get it right first time. You watch it so that you can feel superior about your building skills. That's okay. I know my place. Hello. What am I doing? Oh, yeah, you're on the wrong thing. Okay, cool. So that should be a, a reason. Do I actually need to go to? Are you building a, an enormous roundabout just because you feel like it? In part, yes. Come on, where's the ruler? In an unhelpful spot. But if this comes off and fixes the traffic problems here, uh, just while I try and get this flaming circle done properly, is that circular? Give or take? Yes, it is. Uh, yeah, so the next objective I've got is to look at uh, the entrance and exits. Entrances. Sorry, I don't know what's wrong with me today. Entrances and exits to the, uh, the, the good stations that I've got set up. Because those have always caused tailbacks so far. And, uh, yeah, if you had any sense, it would be over here. I'm not going to do it again. And life is far, far too short for that. What do you want? Up or down? Uh, let's go up. Okay. Up it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mmm, tasty. And down. Lovely. You, something similar, please. Uh, give me that one. Let's at least try and match the changes in uh, in altitude. Whatever else might happen. Give me give me the straight one here. No 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 no, no yes no. About that we'll take it. It's gonna have a bit of an ugly kink in it, but uh, that's not stopped me so far. Why are you trying to build a sodding bridge? No, no, look, you don't, we don't need, you don't need a suspension bridge structure support effort thingamajig there. That's it, yeah. Just like that. And like that. And then connect. Connect. Marvellous. Okay, well that's different. It's going to make drivers repent their sins as they go over the top of that bad boy. Okay, good. Right, so we've got going underneath, we've got going over the top, we've got a completely redundant circle at the moment, but that's all right. Uh, next job is uh, let's take out the next one. Now, the next one was connecting onto here. So at this point, I've decided to pause the video. Why would I do this? Well, by the time I actually completed the project, it had run for over 46 minutes. So here we are, 23 minutes in, and I'm pausing the video. You're going to have to stop back tomorrow for the second. <laughs>